Thank you for joining Brothers of the Word because, brother, you need the Word. We welcome all of you joining us by television and those of you joining us at airjesus.com. Stay tuned to today's message. We're doing part two of Keys to a Happy Home. Keys to a Happy Home. I would like to just read a little humor I came across this week. And it says an 85-year-old widow went on a blind date with a 90-year-old man. And when she returned to her daughter's house later that night, she seemed upset. What happened, mother? The daughter asked. I had to slap his face three times. You mean he got fresh? No, I thought he was dead. <laughs> Open your Bibles, if you will, to our text in the book of Proverbs, in the book of Proverbs, we are looking at two texts, Proverbs chapter 24. <clears throat> we'll read that one first, Proverbs chapter 24. Let's read verses 3 and 4 together there in unison. Proverbs chapter 24. Through wisdom is a house builded, and by understanding it is established and by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. I'd also like to read that in the Amplified. The Amplified says, through skillful and godly wisdom is a house, a life, a home, a family built. And by understanding it is established on a sound and good foundation. And by knowledge shall the chambers of its every area be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. And also Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3 is another scripture we looked at. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 33. <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 3, verse 33. Let's also read that one together. Verse 33 says, The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesseth the habitation of the just. And I just love the Amplified Bible also on that verse. It says, The curse of the Lord is in and on the house of the wicked, but he declares blessed, joyful, and favored with blessings, the home of the just and consistently righteous. I like that. I, lo I love the fact that God declares the homes of the just as blessed, joyful, and favored with blessings. And so we're talking in this series about keys to a happy home. The first two keys I gave you last week. Uh, was number one was to make your family a priority. So we spent some time there talking about making sure that your family, your family relationships, your love relationships are a priority in your life. Number two, we talked about expressing love and appreciation often. Expressing love and appreciation often. We talked about some simple ways to do that. One way was just to be happy to see one another. To be happy to see one another every day is a wonderful way to express your love and appreciation. And so today I'd just like to uh, share some additional keys with you as, as I have pondered this subject, keys to a happy home. Here's key number three that I'd like to begin to share today. And key number three is pray together. Pray together. There's a saying that says a family that prays together stays together. Prayer produces intimacy. Prayer produces a closer bond in families. A happy home depends on the power of prayer that is crucial to being happy at home. Here's something that Henry Ware Jr. wrote 
He wrote a poem 150 years ago, but it is still relevant today. He wrote this over a century and a half ago, just a simple poem about the home, and he says, happy the home when God is there. And love fills every breast when one their wish and one their prayer and one their heavenly rest. Happy the home where prayer is heard and praises want to rise. Where parents love the sacred word and all its wisdom prize. What an accurate expression between the relationship of a happy home and prayer and loving God's word. He wrote that over a century and a half ago, but it is so relevant as it speaks to us today. And here's something that Robert Fulgham said. He says, don't worry that children never listen to you. Worry that they are always watching you. Don't worry that children never listen to you. Worry that they are always watching you. So more is caught than is taught. And so children pick up, they pick up our actions, they pick up what we model for them, they pick up the values that we place before them. And so prayer, prayer together as a couple and as a family is vital in its relationship to you having a happy home. Instill the value of prayer. Instill the value of a relationship with God. Value honoring God. Value um, times of worship together as a family. I can recall growing up in my home, we literally, we had, I mean, we had church at home. We didn't have to go to church for church. We our home became a sanctuary. We had Bible study in the home, and it, all of our ministries began in our home. We had uh, Bible study weekly right at home, just learning the Bible, being taught the Bible, learning Scripture. All of that started at home. I can recall my mother taking me to Sunday school. I can recall my father taking me to Wednesday night Bible study, even at church. And so those, those principles and those values, that instill something into our household that really fostered the joy and the happiness that we enjoyed as a family. So pray Together as a couple, pray together as a family, have times of worship. And, that, you know, you can get creative um, whether you're, I can recall, you know, on the way to school, my mother would be quoting scripture and praying with us. Or just use whatever unique times that you have and to always infuse God's word and, and prayer into your family and into your relationship. It, it, it makes a world of difference in terms of the happiness that you will enjoy as a family. Here's key number four. Key number four is play together. <laughs> play together. My father used to, you know, he used to always say, you know, a family that prays together stays together, but he also a family that plays together stays together. So play together. Tell your name and play together. Play together. Play together. Sounds like pray together, but it's, it's a little different, but it's, it's, you know, it's, it's equally as important. Play together. That's a powerful key in having a happy home. Key number five, keys to a happy home. Key number five is to keep your voices down. Keep your voices down. Turn to your neighbor and say, keep your voices down. Keep your voices down. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 23 says, Have nothing to do with trifling controversies that foster strife and quarreling. You want to avoid strife and contention and confusion. And you want to let love and peace be the prevailing force of your home. So you want to keep your, keep your voices down. Down. Keep your voices down. 